Shalom, everybody, and blessings to all who are patiently enduring and thriving to be close with God with all their heart, soul, and mind. I um, want to speak to you today and tell you some things that God has been showing me and revealing. We need to be very diligent and careful during these days. There is a lot of violence. There is a lot of racial divide. There is a lot of hatred. And there's a lot of protesting and chaos. Our nation in America is more unstable than it's ever been. And our enemies are watching us and gloating over this, just as the Bible said would happen. They're clapping their hands in joy and they're watching our weakness and see how they can infiltrate us more. The churches are silent. The pastors are silent. People everywhere are afraid to speak. They believe that they could be comforted and just coast along at ease. But a time is coming when you're not gonna be able to sit at that ease because people that didn't speak are gonna be on more fear than they ever were at fear. If you think you're at fear right now for things going on in the world, imagine what's to come. God said he would return. When people's hearts start to fail them with fear, he says, look up. The redemption is near. He says, you know, people are pay, preparing for retirement, believing they're going to have time to prepare and save and invest. But he said, when the fig tree blooms, this will be a final generation. And we are the final generation. If you're 50 years old, you're not going to have that time to retire. Prepare. In God's word, he told me, look at Revelation 8. And I see the lightning and the earthquake. When I was standing in Portland, Oregon, when I was standing in Seattle, Washington, God showed me as I'm in the middle of the street, telling and warning of the judgment that is coming. I was seeing the visions right there as I'm yelling in the middle of the street. You can see the other videos I made. I seen an earthquake so massive and that's before I even knew that there was something called the Cascadian fault line. I've heard of the San Andreas fault line, but the Cascadian fault line, whenever it shakes, it always has an effect on the San Andreas fault line. I seen buildings falling. I seen the businesses destroyed. I seen fires and flooding. And people want to find comfort in their cities. They want to find comfort in where they're at. It's not just those locations. I've seen Los Angeles. I've seen Atlanta. I've seen Miami. I've seen New York City. I've seen Chicago. I've seen Houston. I've seen cities like Las Vegas being destroyed. Denver. Everywhere. Just utter chaos. Detroit. Indianapolis. I've seen so many different cities. I've seen Minneapolis before on a fire. I've seen so much chaos, guys and ladies. It's time to listen. Earthquakes in diverse places. What do we think this means? I've seen God has shown me signs of things to do the moment waters begin to turn to blood in certain regions and what to do, what to say and where to go. It's time to start, start preparing, living for the kingdom. All this is going to be destroyed. So why are you living for the world as if it's not? Buying and selling, giving in the marriage. He said this time would happen. Eating and drinking. People will be giving in the revelry. They'll be having parties. They'll just be having barbecues. They'll be having cookouts. They'll be so busy praising and worshiping in church. Not realizing that this thing is going to come to an end. Those that are mourning now will see joy when he comes. People are silent for the chaos and the protests going on, not realizing that these movements that are rising up is the same sickle and hammer that is going to come against this nation later on. Not only this nation, but the rich nations worldwide. Israel, Europe, United Kingdom. Many nations are going to fall. Australia, New Zealand. 
all are going to be attacked in the days to come. Who is allies with America? Who is proclaiming the covenants of Yeshua Jesus, but then forsake his obedience to his commandments and his laws? It's not just the commandments of Jesus Yeshua. He is the word and the law and the flesh. And if you say, I believe in Yeshua Jesus, you're saying, I believe in his words and I accept his covenants, which are his laws. Written on your heart and your mind. That's the Holy Spirit. You choose. God said a third of the earth was burned up. Fire. Blood. Giant hail. Why does the hail keep increasing? The hailstones keep getting larger and larger. I've seen ones bigger than softball. We're making records. Some of them are not even here and in parts of the world because some people don't even have money to have a phone because they're so poor. They can't even take pictures or even have a camera. People don't realize we're more concerned about animals than we are about God's people and doing what's right. We're more concerned about humanism than obeying God's ways. He says that animals would be killed, destroyed. A third of the sea was turned to blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea had died. The ships were destroyed. Transportation is going to be destroyed. Trucks, ship, rail, trains, planes. Things are going to be destroyed. Anything that, that has to do with business and trade will be destroyed. A great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky onto the third of the rivers and then springs of water. People are not going to have drinking water. Or you say you, you're concerned about a, fam a famine not having enough water and clean drinking water. But imagine when you don't even have any drinking water. We're not even concerned about the famine in, of the word in the land. Because we're so, so busy in the churches that are silent. And we think because they say obedience, grace, holiness, faith, salvation, Jesus, or Yeshua, or keeping his holy days or a Sabbath, we hear him saying these words. We're hearing him say repent, but what are they truly teaching? They can say these, these words, even, even Satan himself believes in Jesus and Yeshua but he doesn't obey. These are the judgments that's coming on America. These are the judgments that's coming on Israel. These are the judgments that's coming on Europe and, and Australia that's coming in South Africa, that's coming across the world. Anybody that's keep using Jesus' name, you got him in your church, you're speaking of him. What word are you speaking? Do you have any self-gain or self-interest or self-seeking in your heart or in your mind? Is there something there that you still desire to obtain in this life? Is there any self-glorification, self-achievement? If you don't understand what I'm saying, are you still having ambition and goals and dreams in your life? You don't want Jesus to get you to come back yet because you're so busy enjoying this life. And you want to achieve things in this life rather than forsaking your way to do the will of God. Those with the will of their own will never see the grace of God. He says that a third of the water became bitter and many people died from the water that had turned bitter. Even the living water right now is bitter that is being proclaimed as the name of Jesus. The third of the sun was struck and also a third of the moon and the stars and a third were, of them were darkened. The day had less light and the night likewise. Are we ready? Are we ready for the things that are going to come upon this earth? People are so busy about food all the time and making sure to preserve their food where your food is going to be destroyed. Animals, he says that green plants and trees are going to be destroyed. So veganism, vegetarianism, the all meat eaters, these things are going to be destroyed. Start focusing on the spiritual food of God's kingdom and stop focusing on the world and satisfying your own stomachs all the time. Hear what I'm saying. This world and this money and the preoccupation and the lust and the desires of the eyes and the flesh has nothing to gain in this life. Make sure you're dying to your flesh. 
so that the spirit of God may live in you. The time is coming. Hours growing closer and closer to ending. Are you busy watching this life and living for this life? Are you ready for to live for the kingdom? Are you living for it right now? It's time to prepare. It's time to get serious. It's time to forsake your ways and your sins and come back and return to the covenants of holiness of God, of Yeshua, Jesus, and keep his laws and his commandments on your heart and your mind. Return to the covenant of his laws. Make sure it's there. Are your morals, your values, your characteristics, your desires, your walk, your footsteps, your thoughts, your minds, your heart, and the ways of Yeshua Jesus? Or is it on your own in the world? These are the things to ask ourselves. And we need to prepare as riots will continue to grow. The division will continue to grow. A false peace is going to continue to grow. You're going to see a false unity in the church growing. A false revival in the church coming. A false light. Here are the things that I'm saying. It, there's many things that are going to be led. It's going to be, it's going to be celebrity led. It's going to be church led. It's going to be religious led. It's going to be politician led. And these things are going to rise up and you're going to see a false unification in the later days. But you're not going to see the, the things that are going to come in later days. And there's going to be total chaos and war in the distant future. As I said, you're going, as God has spoke to me, you're going to see more things coming one right after another. I said the coronavirus would rise back up a second wave and it's here. I said that, that there's going to be another pestilence that's going to come in the future. Be ready and wait in the future. There's going to be more things that are going to come up. More chaos is going to come up closer to election time. More chaos later on after that. Brought by times with peace. Then another event's going to happen. Times of peace. You're going to start to see more repetition and things coming closer and closer together. You're going to see more chaos and destruction by natural disasters, which are not natural at all, because natural disasters are not natural. Society says it's natural. Natural disasters happen. These disasters happen by weather and even by armies and people when we start disobeying God's ways and his laws. It's not just believing in Yeshua Jesus. The devil believes, but he doesn't obey. The word, the law that became flesh. We have to be prepared and make sure that we have such faith that we don't fear the things that come. That our heart does not fail us. That we don't shriek back and hide in our comfort and seek peace and closure from the world and, 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 and distance ourselves from God and think that we are going to be okay. Those that are silent now will not be able to be silent in the future. Yes, we're here in the, in the streets right now. The protests are saying silence, no more silence. But yet they're trying to silence the true body of believers, the true body of Christ, the true body of Yeshua, Jesus. In fact, there's a, they're trying to make you submit to their ways. And submission is a sign of weakness, meaning conformity. Conformity to the world's standards, the world's agendas, the world's ways. It's Satan's power that is rising up and ruling. And it's either you're going to bow to the feet of Satan or you're going to bow to the feet of God. Bow to God's laws or you're going to bow to man's ways and their laws. Yes, we bow to, we, we submit to authority and the ruling leaders. But if it goes against God's laws, we do not. All lives matter and the human race matters. It's, it's stop focusing on one race. Black lives matter, guys, but not the movement. Humanity matters. Everybody has the same DNA. Everybody has the same color blood. Everybody breathes the same air and oxygen. We breathe the same air. We have to start caring for one another in the body of believers. Stop dividing. But it has to be in unity with God's laws and his ways. Imagine the Jews and Gentiles came together, truly believing in Yeshua, Jesus, and keeping his commandments. That's why he says this calls for endurance of the saints. Either you're going to obey his laws and keep faith in Yeshua, Jesus, or you're not. It can't just be mind faith. It has to be with all your heart, soul, and mind. That's the only way. Understand what that means. You'll know if you have peace. You'll know if you have comfort in God's ways. You'll know if you have rest. But if you don't, you're going to start to have fear. You're going to start to have worry. You're going to start to have anxiety and depression of what's going to come. 
You're going to start to be concerned of what, how am I going to care for my family? How, what am I going to do for my children? What am I going to do? If you have peace, God's going to give you peace no matter what happens in the future. Don't worry about your life. Worry about living for God and work out your, your salvation with fear and trembling. And make sure you're right before God. If you're right before God, you're going to have an everlasting life and a crown of glory upon your head. Imagine the things that are going to come. We can't even fathom that. The things, the judgments that are going to come upon this earth is going to be brisk and brief compared to what's going to come in eternity. Focus on Him. Keep your eyes on heaven. Keep your eyes on the kingdom. Things are going to get a whole lot worse in this world. It's going to get a whole lot more chaotic. There's going to be people that are going to lose their houses. They're going to lose their jobs. Things are going to come that's going to get worse. And you're going to still have leaders telling you, Things are going to go get better. The best is yet to come. But the best is yet to come for those living for God's kingdom, his laws, and keeping the faith in Yeshua Jesus has to be both. But the best is not yet to come in this world. And those are living carnal minded. They are live, still living for the world. Their job, their pleasures, their money, their savings, their investments, their portfolios, portfolios their 401ks, their health, their their just their fun and their entertainment and their pleasures flee youthful pleasures and desires and to live for God's kingdom walk in the spirit so you're not gratified works of the flesh he says he'll deliver you so that you will not be have to endure the testing that will come upon the whole face of the earth what is that the testing that has to do with the flesh, the gratification of the flesh has no nothing to do with the pre-tribulation rapture has to do with not being ruled by the nature and the ruling powers of the flesh and the, the, the demons and the principalities and Satan that has authority over the works of the flesh that has caused men to fall. Make sure that you're not in the fallen nature of Adam, but you're to restore Adam through Yeshua, Jesus and cleansing of his blood and the faith in him. This is the message that needs to be heard. This is the message that needs to be shared. Turn back to the covenants, obey, and repent from your sins so that you may be cleansed and washed in the blood of Yeshua Jesus. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you cannot handle. You can handle by His Holy Spirit, His Rach HaKodesh living in you, and you will have a power to overcome the works of this flesh. If you stumble, get back up. Do not live in that. Repent from your sins so that you may live in the power of Yeshua, Jesus. Be ready. Be ready. The things that I'm saying to you is going to happen. And those that are watching from other countries, it's not just America. When America starts falling, anything that happens in America, as I've warned before, will happen in other nations. We're seeing it now. The same judgments and natural disasters that happen in America, they're going to happen in other nations. The same things that you're seeing in, the, in, in chaos with the people, politics, and in the streets and society is going to be spread across the whole entire nations. And those that are saying, I believe in Jesus, Yeshua, enemies are going to come against those. And all that you believe in. It's going to look like it's going to be restored, but they're going to still be focusing on prosperity, riches, goals, dreams, and making sure that they're building their house, their cars, their bank accounts, their jobs, their careers. And so focus on making sure that their families have a future rather than living for God's kingdom. Make sure you are ready. Make sure you are prepared. And you seek God with all your heart, soul, and mind. I'm praying for you all, and I'll continue. Shalom. God bless you guys.